could feel the power. Some will say, that just don't make no sense. Some will say, that's foolish. God would take the foolish things of the world to confound the smartest or the wisest men on the face of the earth. Because those that are so smart are looking and thinking in a totally different place. The Bible said that when Jesus came, he was born in a manger. He came in the lowest state. He came in the lowest place. Some said if he's really a king, why, didn't, why wouldn't he be born in a palace? If he was really a king, then why is he where he is now? If you're really saved, then why are you having problems? If you really love the Lord, then why ain't everything all right? He said, if they hated me, they're going to hate you. When you get into the bloodline, let me tell you something. When you get into the bloodline, you take my two boys, Tanner Lane, they have no choice. They are brown. They're not a brown because they're in my house. They're brown because the bloodline of a brown runs through them. Uh, Larry doesn't have any choice Anna is his blood sister and the same blood runs to them both and it's there and I want you to know and when God said I want them, I want them all I don't want them to be stepchildren I don't want them to be somebody that yeah they can snatch them out, he said I want them to be a part of me through the blood he said Jesus I need somebody, he let go of his, of his heavenly robe and he stepped out in a covenant making God and he said, I'll make covenant. I'll step down in the middle of it. He rolled out of heaven. And he hopped in the belly of a seed of a 13-year-old virgin. Can you imagine carrying God inside of you? And she give birth unto that man. And he was born into this world for one reason. And that's to give his blood. Don't you know at any time God could have just said, redo. Adam, you messed this thing all up, man. It's going to take 2,000 years. Another 2,000 years. When you read the Bible, you go from Genesis. Every 2,000 years, something great happened. When you read the Bible, God created man. 2,000 years later, God destroyed this earth with a flood. Another 2,000 years, uh, Abraham came. Uh, another 2,000 years, uh, there came uh, this thing called Christ uh, who comes walking into it to make another covenant. Uh, 2015, my God, if you can't see where we're at right now, uh, we're on the brink. Uh, we're a little bit behind the Jewish calendar, uh, but we're on the brink uh, of a great awakening. The next great awakening to take place in 2,000 years uh, is called the rapture. Uh, it's about to hit the church and there were some that are against the raptures and they tell you that's too easy they know way that God would just come down and take you up you're going to go through persecution like everybody else honey let me tell you something either you're in law or you're in grace come on somebody I said either you're in law or you're in grace you become like the the, 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 the Pharisees who was walking in grace but living in law I mean walking in law but living in grace and so you, you can't do both because the Bible says that sweet water and bitter water can't flow out of the same faucet. The Bible said in the book of Amos that unless they walk together they can be agreed. We have to come in agreement. We are either in grace or we are in law. And grace says it ain't got nothing about you. It's about the blood. I shed the blood on your behalf. Stand up and become the power of the second and plead the blood. Pastor Anna. Sometimes we can get into a turning point of our life. David said it like this. He said, God becomes my defender. I don't have to defend myself. I just have to walk in the power of the light that God has shed me. And there are some places that I don't have all the knowledge, but I'm seeking the knowledge. There were some places in my life that I would have never even known 
if I hadn't have fallen first. Sometimes the greatest things that we learn is when we do it the second time. I was laughing at Tanner. We was in there, and this is all new to us. And I told him everything I wanted to do for the DVDs. Lane was sitting there. He's looking at one computer, and Lane did this. Taz come walking in. I told him, he said, that's going to take 24 hours at least. Tanner goes, oh, my God. I said, this is what I want. Let's get involved in it. Let's see what it takes. Do you know how many DVDs that Tanner went through to get it right? He burnt one off. Brought it to the house. There was great audio in one part of it, and then he switched to another page, and the audio was dead. Oh, this is what I should do. So it goes back in, goes back into the computer, puts another DVD in, goes in, tweaks it a little bit, comes back. Oh. And then he put one part on there where it says meet LCCI, and it's got all the pictures of the leaders. You know, we put them on there. And he's got this song that comes on this. And it goes, you are not using that when my picture shows up. <laughs> so Tanner goes back. He says, what song you want on it? And I said, put the old rugged cross. And it goes, really? I know where mine, she was thinking, that's just old fashioned. But then when the song would come up. might be a little old fashioned let me tell you something sometimes I think I'd rather go back in time than to look what's going on now but you my friend me can change it Tanner didn't get it right the first time he didn't get it right the second time he hung in there after I printed some DVDs, I printed about four of them. I said, I ain't printing another one until you get it right. He come in today and he was all excited. He said, I got it right there. 